One of the most confusing keys on a typical PC keyboard says print screen. And today I'm going to explain what it does and what it should do. Now I've had a computer since the 70s and ever since the first IBM PC rolled out, which is about 1981 or 82, the IBM keyboard and the PC keyboard has had an interesting key here called print screen. Now, back in the 80s and back in the early 90s before Windows came along, that key actually, whenever you hit it, printed the screen. I mean, you didn't need any special software. You just hit that button and whatever was on your screen went onto the paper. Pretty simple. In fact, it was it took less than a second to do it. You did that and you had a copy of the screen. Great option. So why is it that the key still exists on the keyboard when in fact, when you hit it, it doesn't print? Well, to me, that's a problem. First of all, Microsoft, why don't you rig it so when you hit the button, it actually prints the screen? I don't think they're listening to me, but here's what you could do with the key because it's actually going to do something for you. It just won't print the screen. It's going to do something almost close. What you got to do is every time you hit the print screen, what it actually is doing in Windows is it takes a copy of the screen without any fanfare and it puts it on the clipboard. So what does that mean? Well, once it's on the clipboard, you can actually go into a program like an art program or a paintbrush type program or even Microsoft Word and it's actually on your clipboard, meaning you can hit control V or choose the right mouse button and choose paste. And believe it or not, if you've hit that print screen button by you hitting paste, you just pasted a copy of your screen in there. Now that means if you actually want to print the screen, what you do first is you hit that button. It then copies it on your clipboard. You go into word or paintbrush program. You then paste the image. And then within that other program like word, you tell that program to print. To me, that's kind of only like half-assed because when you do that, it's actually not quite good because you'll have borders around it and maybe you only wanted to print part of the screen. Well, they actually have a way to do that. You could hold down the Alt key and the print screen and you can have it just save the current window. So if it's like you got a lot of windows and you only want the current one where the browser is a certain way, whatever. So you do that, be cut and paste. So the bottom line is the print screen key button doesn't print the screen. It should, but knowing that it doesn't, at least you should be aware that when you hit it, you can actually save your screen on your clipboard and then paste it into a program and print it there, which also gives you the benefit of being able to save it. So it'd be nice. Maybe when you hit the print screen, if windows gave you a choice, do you want to copy it? Do you want to print it? Do you want to save it? That will be great. And that's today's idea of the day. So that's it. That's today's idea of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are better. I got to admit, but if you really want to see a new idea each day, some of them are going to be good. Some of them are going to suck. What are you going to do? Subscribe and visit ideatheday.com.